In the final part of this lecture, we want to have a look at our very first, very simple drawing algorithm, which is for binary search trees. So let's first define what binary search trees are. Probably you already know, but in general, a tree is defined by some conditions. And we have four different definitions here that are all equivalent. In the homework, you will have to show that these in fact are equivalent. The first one is between every vertex pair, there is exactly one path. So if, for example, here, if I want to go from here to there, there's exactly one path I can take. The second is the graph is cycle free and it is connected. The third is the graph is cycle three and we have exactly n minus one edges. And the fourth is the graph is connected and we have exactly n minus one edges. So these three here are very similar. These are just three properties. Any two of those immediately gives you a tree. And then there's also the first one. Some definitions for trees. We have leaves. Those are the vertices of degree one. If we have a rooted tree, then we also have a designated root. Now, if we look at a single vertex, there are <coughs> Now, if we look at a single vertex, it has some relation to other vertices. For example, there are the ancestors. Those are all the vertices on the path to the root. And the neighbor on the path of the root is the parent. We have successors. That's basically the opposite. Those are the vertices on the path away from the root. So this is a successor of you because you is an ancestor of this. And the neighbors here are the children of you. So you can imagine all these definitions like a family tree. You have the parent, you have the children, ancestors, successors, and there's also the siblings. For example, this here would be a sibling of you because they have the same parent. You can apply all these definitions. You can use a niece if you want, whatever you would like. Two more important properties are the depth of a vertex, and the depth is the length of the path to the root. We know from here there's exactly one, so the depth of u is 3 because there are exactly 3 edges on the unique path to the root. And the height of a tree is the maximum depth of a vertex or of a leaf. And here it is 5 because this vertex here has depth 5. Now these are very general trees. Today we want to focus only on binary trees. In a binary tree, every vertex has exactly two children, a left child and a right child, like we have here. This is a binary search tree is one of the most basic data structures that you use all the time. Whenever you don't know what kind of data structure should I use, starting with the binary search tree is usually a good decision. So it makes sense that we want to start with drawing those. You probably already learned that there are different traversal strategies for binary search trees. We want to briefly recap them. We have the pre-order. There we start with the root and we always first go to the node, and then to the left child, and then to the right child. So we start here, go to the left child, we take this, go to the left child, take this, go back, we already have it, go to the right child, take this, go back, go back to the right side, to the left, to the left, back to the right, back, back to the right, to the right, and we found all the vertices, and we traverse them in this pre-order. Then there is the in order. There we first take the left child, then the node, and then the right child. So instead of taking the root in the beginning, we first go to the left, to the left, we go here, and then we go back to the parent. We take this, go to the right child, go back to the right child, and then left and left again before taking any of these nodes. We take this to the right, we take this to the right and to the right. This actually gives us a sorted list of all these key in a binary search tree. And then there is the post-order traversal. There we first take both children and then the node itself. So we go to the left to the left, we start here, but then we take the right child first before going here. Now we go to the right, we go downwards to the child, we take the right sibling, go back to the parent. The right sibling, we go down, Go back to the parent, back to the parent, back to the parent. And now we want to do a drawing of our binary tree. We will just do a straight line drawing so all our edges will be straight line segments. 
That means there are two things we have to do. We have to choose the y coordinates and we have to choose the x coordinates of all our vertices. Now, what could you do to choose the y coordinate? How would you choose that? Here we want to just take the depth of every vertex and place it at this y coordinate. So if we take this graph, this is our root, then the y coordinates will look like this. We just put them from top down because I think it looks nicer. You can also put it bottom up, however you like. Usually when you draw rooted trees, then you have the root at the top, which is a bit contradicting to what we learn from nature, where the root is at the bottom and the leaves are at the top. But most of the time you want to display some hierarchies. And for those hierarchies, it often makes more sense to have the root at the top, like in a family tree, where you have the oldest member at the top. How would you choose the x-coordinates? Do you have any idea? We just learned about three traverses, so we will just use those to pick the x-coordinates. And that's it, that's the whole algorithm. So let's have a look at the, this example. We have the y-coordinates from 0 to 3, and from left to right we want to place the vertices by this traverse. So we start with the root, we go to the left child, left child, to the sibling, we have this left subtree, and we go here, go downwards, downwards, sibling, we go over here, and downwards, and we have a drawing of the binary tree. And the same we can do for these two. We can do it for the in order, we start with the left one here, we go up, we go to the right, we go up, we go all the way down, up to the right, up to the right, to the right, and we have an in order drawing. And the same for this post-order drawing. We start here, we go to the right, up, all the way down here, to the right and up, all the way down here, up, 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 and we have a post-order drawing. In the homework, you can show that these drawings are in fact planar drawings of trees. At least you show it for the one in the middle. But which of these drawings do you like the most? And what could we do to improve these drawings? That's something that we want to figure out in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.